Hi guys, it's Lisa again. Um, I'm actually going to do back-to-back -back videos, but just upload them separately. Um, I'm very new to Project Life. Um, I, I've been really interested in, in it, and I've been just kind of like watching. I think I said this in one of my other videos, and I've just been I've been documenting, taking photos, and trying to just prepare myself for it. And um, I'm pretty comfortable starting wherever I start for the year because I, I think, even though sometimes I'm very precise about things, I I find that um, if if I worry about stuff like that, I don't scrapbook as much and I get stressed out about it and I don't enjoy it. So what I try to do is just go with it. So I'm start. I was starting it. I think in the middle of March. I think that's when my project life is, or sometime in March, February, March, and. I figure it's better late than never and so what uh, you know it's it's still I'm still documenting and it's better than nothing um, so I finding it difficult to do um, when I watch all the videos they make it look so easy <laughs> and I think the hardest thing I'm finding is the photos um, you know printing making sure I take the photos and cropping the photos and printing the photos and sometimes I'm thinking, okay, I have this photo. I don't want a huge photo of it. You know, I don't want, like a three by four would be plenty. But then the way my pockets are, I'm like, oh, I need a four by six. It, it, it's not as easy as I thought it would be. Um, and I think I'm just kind of, I'm learning. Like I'm finding definitely six by six pads are the easiest thing for me to do. Um, Cause they all go together. They match together and they're easy. Um, and another thing I found which I had just talked to one of my friends about this because um, she's thinking about starting it. And I'm, and I said, another thing I found is I take a lot of photos with my iPhone now and my beautiful Canon Rebel <laughs> is just sitting there not being used. And the photo quality from your iPhone, at least mine, is not what I like. And so I've been trying to do, even though it's so convenient for the iPhone, is to take photos with my camera and doing it that way instead but anyways let me get to this this is what i decided to do and like i said this was totally brand new to me and i was just winging it um this is just to hold that so they don't fall out um this is my cover page i decided to do a cover page because i didn't really know what to do and um i just did project life 2013 um let me take this out for you and there goes my cat. Oh, that kitty. So anyways, I'll take this out. Um, this is enjoy life. This is not a dress rehearsal. And I just did some layering and some photos to fill up this big space. I probably should do some stitching, but, um, sorry, there goes the kitty. Um, I just didn't think about it at the time when I was doing it and I was working upstairs um, I quite honestly love working upstairs here on my kitchen table, but after a few days, my family gets a little frustrated and wonder if I'm going to take my stuff downstairs. Um, anytime I come home from a crop or anything like that, I like to, I just bring my stuff right upstairs and finish whatever I was working on. Um, I just like being up around here where everyone is and it's not as dark and I have more space, but hopefully soon we're redoing our basement and I'm going to get a bigger craft room. And as much as my husband was like, you know, um, what about my hunting stuff down there? Whatever. I'm like, the only room, the only thing that gets used down there is my scrapbooking room and the laundry room. So it makes sense. It makes sense to me anyways. So here I wrote, um, I wrote that this is my attempt of Project Life. What is Project Life? It is the commitment of recording your everyday memories week by week in a quick and easy scrapbook style. Not sure about the, in parentheses I wrote, not quick, not sh not sure about the quick and easy part, laughing out loud. It does take a lot of commitment to do this. You have to keep a journal and take photos almost every day. The reason I love this idea is because I think we miss so much of, of the little things, <laughs> that cat, of the little things that happen day to day. Our life day to day is what makes us who we are as time goes by. Already time has gone by so fast and my babies are getting big. So I thought, why not try this? And then I just did a picture of my husband and my girls in Myrtle Beach. I couldn't find a... If, if I can get a photo, nice photo of all of us, I'll put all of us in here. But I just threw something in here to go with it at the time. Um, no kitty. She's attacking the tripod. <laughs> <clears throat> 
So here I just wrote a little thing. I am in, I am in such a happy place in my life. Sometimes I just want to scream. I'm so happy. I'm not saying my life is perfect and that every day is bliss, but day after day I have the basic things that make me happy. I have a husband who loves me, makes me laugh, and in parentheses I wrote, and frustrates me, who is my rock, who loves my children, who loves to spend time with me. I have two beautiful, healthy girls who fill my heart with so much joy and love. It's, it overflows. It chokes me up. <laughs> I'm one of those sappy people. I just read my own words. Choke me up. Um... Uh, let's see. I have a family that despite everything is still extremely close. I have a job I love, friends who have been with me since the beginning, and new friends that I'm happy came into my life. I hope my girls will look back and say that they had a great childhood. Ow, kitty. Kitty's getting a little vicious right now. So that was my cover page. And one thing I realized pretty darn quick is when you go to do the next week, you have to do the same exact layout because that's on the back side. So I'm like, oh, how do I fill this next big space? So this was my week one was February 24th through March 2nd. And I just did the same kind of thing layering. And I realized I definitely don't like using the six by 12. Um, I'm gonna wait and save those for like weeks. I have like a lot of journaling or a lot of um, photos or a lot of, you know, a lot of things. Um, oh, sorry, my cat's attacking me. So anyways, I did have a lot of photos for my first week, so I really didn't know what to do. So um, this is my journal I made with washi tape. It's all different types of washi tape and a Polaroid film and a die cut in our life. And I took a picture of it and I, um, and that's what I write my journal. Oh, that's gonna keep falling out. That's why I had that tape on. <laughs> so I'm not really good at this. So I just like, wrote that that was my journal I made and that's what I'm using everything to document. And then this one, I'm not going to read this one. This is kind of like a personal story. What something my daughter had told me um, on when I brought her home. I picked her up from her dad's about just how happy she is about her life, that her everyday life is here. Um, not that she has a wonderful dad and she has a great, great relationship with her dad and he's a great guy and we get along very well, but you know, just a totally different lifestyle than what, um, not that it's a bad lifestyle, but just, you know, we're more country and more four wheeling and, um, small, small town. And he lives in the city and, and, you know, like my husband and I, we have lifelong friends that we've been friends with since school. You, you know, we were ki young kids, my kindergarten, you know, and just a t t totally different thing. But, um, you know, just, she kind of like, I was just excited cause she understood like what I worked I was a single mom when I had her and I met my husband and, you know, she just kind of, she got it. She, she, the life I was trying to make sure she had at 12 years old, she gets it and appreciates it. And it just, it thrilled me. Not that thrilled me that she's happier here than there. Not at all. It was just that she, what I worked so hard to make sure, cause it's not easy being a single mom with children and, you know, starting over and making sure you find someone who loves your children, is good to your children and, everything but anyways um then this next picture is like on sundays during um, the month of february march um there's open swimming at one of the schools here and i take my youngest daughter who absolutely loves it she's just loves it loves it loves it so i was documented that there that page can go the one keeps falling out and then <clears throat> i did this little page or this little box here let me see um just like our ordinary day like homework and you can't see but my husband's over here because he has he helps them with their homework he's definitely the homework person i'm usually doing dinner or clean up from dinner and he'll help them with their homework um he enjoys it <laughs> i don't and quite honestly my daughter is doing sixth grade math and it is like so different than what we ever did that it it just it confuses me and just frustrates me and it's not every time I do it she's like that's not how we do it mom so anyways this is simple every day I just use a little twine here a little cutout, and you know just some stickers to label it and then what I've been doing is um, uh, a week in review I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it on every page but I am kind of doing it I because you can't document every single like I realize like when I journal I don't get everything in there that I, um, you know, I don't have a picture of every single thing. So, um, 
you know, it, it, like my daughter had one of her first sleepovers and I have a picture of her first sleepover. So at least I can document it in here by writing it. So that's what I've been doing and I think I probably will continue to do that. And I actually got to use this little Studio Calico typewriter. I was wondering, actually I might do that in each one. I might kind of have that uh, theme through is like each one for week in review do that. Cause I don't know where else I'd ever use these, um, but I liked them <laughs> and they came with some words that I liked. So that's why I got those. Um, Oops, these things are floppy. So I had an empty space here, so I just put a little um, card in there that said today was a good day. And then this one is, I just plain did a little tag on it, if you can see. And it's just a picture of our school hall, and those actually is a bad picture because my iPhone, but my girls are right there. I don't know if you see them. They're walking. Um, during the winter, we have open walking. You can go to school and walk. Um, it's great exercise, and I've been trying to get healthier and lose some weight um, over um, that since January. So any night we have free, which isn't much because my daughter's in basketball and my other daughter's in skating during these months. So it's very, very difficult, but we make it to school, and my girls love it too. They walk right with me. They keep up with me. They, they're they great. They're really athletic, and they're very um, – they're happy to go exercise. They don't care. Um and then this is my Gracie kitty cat. That's just like a plain little, um, just a background paper. I can't remember this paper. I, I think I got it from a, like, I think it was all like little cards I had just bought at Michael's or something. And I just, it was easy. This one was easier to put together than it, the other ones. And um, she, when I scrapbook, she's laying on my thickers right there. And as you know, she's a pain. And she goes every, she's always where I'm scrapbooking. And so she likes to lay on them and sleep on them. But now I've moved them because I've gotten so many. And now she likes to sleep right on my scrapbook page. But I just did a little label on that one and that's it. And then here, I really didn't have anything. I just had written down, a, I, I love to write down things my girls say. And this was my oldest daughter, Chloe. She had said, mom, did you know when you're a senior you can leave school for lunch? She was like all excited. I'm like, oh yeah? She says, that means I could come home, have lunch with you on your days off. And I just wrote, that girl has a way of melting my heart. Because I hope she means that. Because I hope she's, you know, right now she's 12. And she's just so sweet. And I'm like, oh, what if she wants to go with her boyfriend for lunch or her friends for lunch? I'm like, oh. But maybe, maybe I'll have her read this. And she will remember that she um, was supposed to come have lunch with mom. I hope so. I was close with my mom. So I'm hoping her and I remain close too. Um, this one is just a picture of my clipboard that I keep my nail appointment at work and my assistant, she schedules myself, me, she schedules, she does my schedule for me and she just always schedules everything. I, I just kind of like tell her what days I want to work and what times and she schedules me around everything and it was just my nails. I've been doing my nails, which I missed my appointment while I was on vacation. I have a broke nail and um, I missed my appointment, but I've been probably five years now getting my nails done and I will probably never ever not <laughs> and it's just something I personally love and um, working like I do if I don't my nails are broken my um, my cuticles are always cracked and bleeding and stuff so anyways I love it and then this is just um, the flooring that we had picked out that particular day because we we're putting new flooring down which we actually just did last weekend because this was in February, like I said, and um, we actually were just on vacation last week, my husband and I, and we did put the new flooring, and it did not end up being that one, <laughs> but that was the one we picked out, um, and then here was a picture of my ceiling fan that we had bought, and um, I did a little pocket thing. I let's see if I can get this. Is it stuck here? Oh, I stuck it behind the whole thing, so that's probably why. There we go. It's supposed to be there. So it's just like this cute little ceiling fan that I talked my husband into buying. And we kind of, it's kind of sat there for like six months until we we're ready to do our living room over. But anyways, that was that. So that was my introduc introduction page and then my very first week. I found that one allowed the first week easier than my second week. And I think the second week reason why is because the pages were so... They were from, um, oh, what do you want to call it? My iPhone, and they were really orangey and yellow. 
All right, this is week two, and I just finished this this week. Um, you know, as you go back between layouts and this, layouts and this. Um, but I finally decided I wanted to do another one. I don't want to get too far behind. Um, this is week two. Um, and I did a whole... One thing I realized when I was doing the first week, I'm not sure how many people out there do um, Project Life. Um, I probably could have, if I had smaller dividers, I could have did one week. Well, I could probably, Some weeks I could do one week in one page. And I was stretching out to two. And so I'm not going to hold myself to having to do a two page, two, you know, two um, page protector layout. So that's what I told myself. I, if I have, I don't know, if I don't have a lot of photos for the week, I'll just do one page for the whole week. But this particular week, um, I had started out my Sunday because I do Sunday through Saturday, um, going down to, um, where my sister lives, which is two and a half hours away, as I said. And cause my, um, my youngest, one of my younger nieces, she bought my older niece. And this is my younger niece. She's 22. And then my older niece, who's 32. <laughs> and she bought us tickets to go see Matchbox 20. Um, so I had a lot of pictures because we all stayed in the hotel, or, or I should say my two nieces and I stayed in the hotel. And we just had so much fun. I met them down there that morning. We went shopping. We went to lunch. And we went back to hotel. We just hung out, had some drinks <laughs> we had some drinks and we waited to the concert then we my youngest niece wasn't going to the concert so she dropped us off we went to the con we went to the concert and then she met us over there it was at a casino and we just hung out and had more drinks and food and my nephew met us there so these are my sister's three oldest her three kids and my sister's the oldest she's 12 years older than me and so her kids I mean, I was eight when the first one was born, so I was older when they they came along, and they were my babies before I had my own babies. They, I'm extremely close to all three of them. I love them to death. I love them, love them. I just spent the weekend with them relay again, um, and they were home last weekend, so I was able. We're very, very close. We text a lot. We talk a lot. My nephew calls me randomly. You know, we're just really close family, and I just I love them. I'm very proud of them. Um, so anyway, so I had a lot of stuff. So I just basically did the concert. Um, I wanted to put the ticket in there and I have this cute little washi tape that says admission and I like, there's the thing and there's Rob Thomas from Matchbox 20 who looks so good and exactly the same as he used to. And I, we did see, I saw him like probably like 10, 11, oh gosh, no, 12, 12, so a long time ago I saw him with my niece when I think before I had my daughter, Chloe. So I love this idea of cutting like a four by six photo and cutting it as long as it's something, not a person's head or face because I don't think I can do that yet. But I do. I love how that came out. And I, wrote, I put a little puffy thing. Goodness. <laughs> and just a little heart. I kept it plain. Um, and I just did a cute, you know, it didn't come out that great with my niece and I. But I loved it. So I just did a little embellishing and then this picture is not great because we had glowing eyes in it but you know I wrote my three loves and like how happy I was to be with them and about Heather. My niece Heather was with me when I delivered my daughter Chloe. She was with me every step of the way, every doctor's appointment and she was my, uh, Chloe's father was there also when I delivered but she was my, <laughs> she was my rock through my pregnancy and my um my birth <laughs> my childbirth she's awesome so there's rob thomas with little hearts because he's so cute and he's so oh my gosh he sounds so good he sounds just like oh yep yeah and i just realized i didn't realize i was looking something up online that he's almost the same age as me he's like a year older than me um so that was that page and then um we came i came home well actually i was like i said i was down that way that week too so i had to stop at Hobby Lobby and I cut that one in half too. And I put that little, that's a little stamp that came. Oh, I ordered that from two peas. I think it was like two bucks. And I've used that a lot, I think a couple times. Oh, yep, it's on the other side too. And I just did them different colors and cut them out. Love this. 
And then this is my youngest daughter. She is in her skating show. And this is like a four by six, but I just did two. I just put bad at two things. And she was a monkey in the Lion King show. And I put the story. And then this is before we were getting ready to go. She was all dressed and ready. That's my daughter and I. And then that's my husband's grandmother, Granny. She came with us. I didn't put the date because I couldn't remember exactly the date. I have to look it up. Um, yeah, love her. Love her, love her, love her. She's a wonderful lady. She's 83. <clears throat> um, and this is where my weekend review is going to go once I'm done. I think I'm going to handwrite this one. The first one took me forever typing and everything on the computer. Um, this is just a magazine that I found and my husband was laughing and telling somebody about how I put strangers in my scrapbook. But, um, this guy looks so much like my nephew in this magazine. It just blew me away, which I know you won't be able to tell here, but right there, oh, boy, this, where is he? Oh, where is he? There he, there he is there. And there. And if you could see, if you could see it, it totally blew me away, like how similar and a lot like my brother, obviously my brother, and my nephew somewhat look alike, they are related, but I just thought it was a funny thing and I took a picture to send it to my family and I, it wasn't part of my week, <laughs> so I documented it. Um, here is my, I did my next one was what I had did on the elliptical, I was slowly working my way up to an hour on the elliptical, but here I was finally a half hour and it's about my weight loss and thing I've been trying to, which I've lost 18 pounds so far. So, um, but I was on vacation last week and gained a few back. So this week I was trying to really get back on track. And this is um, the day I came back from the concert because I was gone overnight. So of course it was like, mommy was gone. So we all went out to dinner when I came home and we had to get our taxes done that day. So I just took a picture of the menu at the Chinese restaurant. So this is my first few weeks of project life. And I apologize if my videos are all over the place and I talk so much, but I love scrapbooking. I love my life. So I love, and I love to tell stories. And so I feel like I always have to tell a story about everything, but um, hopefully you guys don't mind. And I will be back soon with something. I'm not sure what. Um, I might attempt a process video soon, so I'll see about that. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.